Yes, I'm a candidate of the 2015. I felt really disappointed when I heard of it. In fact, it was so sad. I felt like crying, but I didn't. First, I thought maybe going for a demonstration would help to, for them to say they wouldn't cancel it. But then I thought of it. I was like, if our president said he wouldn't heed to any demonstration, it means our educational leaders won't also do the same. So I thought of it and I said, it's nothing. They've cancelled it and if they don't want to um, take back their words and they think their decision is cut and dry, then you also write and you prove to them that we are really ready for the battle. We will write and become future leaders like them. And they show us how corrupt and ignorant they are, the Wayek, and you grow up to be just like them and we take out all those corrupt people. In fact, if you ask any child, he'll be like, oh, our leaders are taking money from those positions, they are, they are abusing their privileges, so they will be like them and also abuse those positions. But I say to myself, if we do that, will mother Ghana go on? No, of course not. So I, I felt disappointed and I think we should move forward, we should write and prove to them that we, we want to be the future leaders. And did, um, you, did you get wind of the leakage before you went to write those papers? Yes, please. Um, in fact, on, on the Monday, I didn't because my grandpa had seized my phone a long while ago. And um, a neighbor told me this was is happening. So I went to beg my grandpa. That was um, on, on the Monday evening when I got home. I begged my grandpa for my phone. And then he gave it to me and he warned me that this was what was going to happen. But I told him, oh, it wouldn't happen, and we just moved on. So he gave me the phone, and I got the questions. In fact, I was so shocked. When it came, I was like, where did these people get it from? So I came to school, and my friends were here, and I told them, they were like, yes, yeah, so they also got something like that, but they are not sure it will come, and a whole lot of things. You got the questions on your phone, through yes. which platform? WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Who was up to you? Um, it was in a group actually. Yeah, you were in a group? Yes, okay. please. And uh, we came and we discussed some of them. We didn't really believe it would come. So we discussed some of them. We didn't even tell our teachers because it was like we, we weren't so sure that it would come. So we didn't really pay attention. But then we learned some parts we thought it might come and we went on. We went and we saw it and I was just shaking. I was like, is this really true? Are we really writing the same papers? And I was so amazed. So then I said to myself, if this is how corrupt Ghana is, I wonder what will be in the future. Mm. Thank you. Right. Then, whether you also had wind of the leakage and what went through your mind when you heard of the leakage? I was shocked and not too surprised by Wyke's pronouncement because the questions had leaked too much. And I was surprised, how did these questions leak? And what has that got to do with us? Because we students don't know who prints the questions, who keeps them. It's, we shouldn't suffer someone somewhere's corruption. You see, our, our leaders have, have really like disappointed us. They've shown us that they are a failure. They were not able to just handle papers that students are going to write. How much more money or some things got to do with the country as a whole? And this um, canc cancellation has got some students worried. It has put them down and they will not be able to write um, the, the research questions because they are down in spirit. They will not be able to write what they want to. But I will tell fellow students that if they really learned, they should write it and we should prove why that with or without their corruption, we can still pass. And in a way, they must compensate us with easy questions. Mm -hmm. it, would be, it would really be a blow if they also bring, they have the guts to bring difficult questions because we didn't ask them to leak the papers. We didn't beg Wyek, Wyek, we are going to write BC, so leak questions. We never did that. So I don't know why they are their misunderstandings should affect us. If questions leaked, they should investigate and try to kick out people responsible for that and stop putting students' future at stake.
because this has really affected what if a student died at the news of this in a way they've killed so I also like to thank lawyers who are trying to put them um, to court to move on and make sure that justice is seek for once in Ghana thank you you, you think that uh, even though the papers leaked, they should have allowed you to go ahead and they shouldn't have cancelled the papers. Not really. I, I have no problem with the cancellation because I'm a prepared student. But the thing is, why should they have let it leak in the first place to put us through all this? Because in a way, it's a waste of money and time. And time waits for no man. So it's not our fault per se. So if they want to cancel the, if they've cancelled the papers, fine, we accept it and we are going to write and prove to them that we can still do it. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. And I'm a candidate of Kwan School. Speaker. When I heard um, the leakage, I went in a state of shock and I really didn't um, learn the questions because I was like, how can these papers come? So I learned my textbook. When I heard that why had cancelled the papers, I always went mad. I almost went mad because I prepared. I, I woke up at 1 a.m. and learned, burnt the midnight candle to learn, went through all that, went through the nervousness and the fear, wrote diligently, wrote properly, and then cancelled the papers just like that. So are you ready for the papers again? Yes, I'm not scared. You're I'm not just disappointed in our future leaders. Mm -hmm. They are so corrupt. And I don't know why they've made bribery and corruption become part of Ghana's development. They are hindering our development. They are retarded our growth. And it's bad. All right, thank you. And how did you hear of the leakage? Oh, I did Mr. Mankwa told us after the last paper. After that? So you hadn't heard that the papers had leaked? Yeah, they didn't tell us when we were in the room. When we came out, Mr. Mankwa told us. Yeah, I know that they didn't tell you in the room. But did you, as an individual, receive any of the leaked questions? Did you hear of any leakage? Yes, from my friends. From your friends, so you already knew about it. Why were not you waiting all. for your? Not all. Which which paper did you hear at late? I don't actually know the subject, but I heard of some. But you but don't see. It's a trust on it, but we learned other mm. topics. So when you heard that the papers had been cancelled, what was your reaction? I was sad and happy. You were sad and happy. Sad because. Sad because we had told we had worked very hard and they had been cancelled. We went through that room, fights and everything. We had overcome it. And now um, they put our hopes down. And they're happy because? Because everybody had a question. See if everybody had 9 one who would have got eight ones and go to the secondary school. So the protocols in SS and this will make be those in the private schools not get access. Mm. Making us go to secondary schools. So it's good they cancelled it. So you are ready for the for the reset? Yes, we are ready. We are all prepared.